Hey everybody, it's Travis Enigmatic Reptiles. Gonna show you guys some lace stuff real quick. So right here we got a pastel GHI vanilla lace head clown. And with lace you're able to keep that clarity, the definition, the color. It gets better with age. You get the nice popcorn and the bubbling up on the side, nice and clean. Lace. Easily one of my favorite snakes. Lace versus Desert Ghost. Which one do you choose? I choose Lace. I agree with you. Beautiful. It keeps, um, it doesn't wash out and... I prefer it. Desert Ghost looks good as babies and not as good as adults, if you ask me, when compared to a Lace. Lace has some catching up to do as a baby, but as adults, I think it definitely passes the visual appearance. Give it time, it'll get there. And it goes super well with pastel. Couldn't agree more. One of the few morphs I say has to almost belongs with it. Can you show us this guy right here? So the other one was with vanilla. This one's without vanilla. Yep. This one's also not heck clown, so you don't have a little bit of the brightening effect. So this is a pastel GHI lace. Everything came from a white lace male. So you still get the popcorning up on the sides. But it's also helping keep the clarity without washing out the blacks. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you. So we're here with Sammy from Bull Pythons. How are you liking California so far? Oh, beautiful. A lot, yeah. of, a lot of nice people, a lot of snakes. So I'm enjoying myself down here. How long have you been breeding ball pythons? I uh, started breeding last year for the first time. I started buying snakes uh, 2021, to the end of 2021. Instead of buying uh, small ones, babies. I tell you what, master of marketing right here because I see you everywhere. Yeah, and the pink, we associate that with you. Yeah, so pink, you've been doing really good. Pink is bring yeah. love to the people. Hey, you know? give me one booth to check out besides this one for ball pythons here, if you don't mind. Right over here where uh, best dressers are. Okay. It's like five or six of them there. Big, they got like 13, 14 tables. Thank you, Sammy. All right, thank you. Thank you. So we're here with John Feely and he has GHA model. Take a look at that. What was the pairing for this one? It was a GHI Mojave Pet Monarch to a Pascal Monarch. That thing is beautiful. You know, this I, is I, one of two in the world right now. Yeah. I'm Team Ultramel, but you know what? That Monarch stuff is incredible. It's pretty, man. It's pretty. Thank you so much for sharing. So here we're with Antoine of High Desert Pythons. Why'd you leave California? Because it's whack. <laughs> and where are you at right now? Uh, somewhere less whack. There you got it from the man himself, Antoine, High Desert Pythons. Hi, uh, I'm Alex with Python Addicts. Um, I kind of chose a name because it sounds like you're saying uh, fanatic, like you're a fanatic, you're a Python fanatic, I guess. Or you can pronounce it like you're an addict for uh, Python, kind of how I do it. Um, but anyway, so we're here at the Pomona Reptile Super Show with Laura Trifana, and I, I wanted to kind of, he wanted to show uh, some of my animals that I have. Yeah, how long have you been breeding? I've been breeding since 2019. Okay. So this is now, I'm going into my fifth season. Um, and so I only do about 10 to 15 clutches per year, um, but I am trying to kind of really focus what I'm doing. I'm going to focus on the clown pie stuff, 
Cypress Clown stuff and then there's darker stuff in general. So a little bit all over the board, but you know, there's so much that you like, it's hard to focus. And these are all produced by you? All produced by me, exactly. Yep. Okay, show me some of your hottest snakes here. So, let me pull some out for you. So, there's some hand sanitizer in between each one. But I just had this one out. This one is my uh, pride and joy, so I'll put it under the light for you. So, this one is, uh, I'll, I'll tell you where I know she is. She's an OD Cypress Leopard, and she's possible yellow belly or possible Enchi. Um, I think from the eyes that she's Enchi, but her pattern is very wonky. I'm not sure if that's a reaction of Cypress and Leopard or, or not, or maybe she's YB instead, yellow belly instead. Um, but she's one of my favorites that I produced this season. I'm, anyways, yeah, so I really like her a lot. Um, let me put her back. And then her brother's right there, which is a Cypress Yellow Belly Clown. So I forgot to say the pairing. The pairing was on the pair of those two. An Orange Dream Enchi Leopard Clown to a Cypress Yellow Belly Pet. And so that's why I'm saying could be Enchi, could be Yellow Belly. But this guy, I love him. This is a GHI Spot Nose Yellow Belly Clown. And there's a GHI Spot Nose Clown right there. So you can see what just Yellow Belly does and brings in. So I like the head stamp, and then you got the classic Spot Nose Yellow Belly flames on the side. Oops, I go like that. So nice red little dots all throughout. I love how he turned out. He's a, a copy of his father. And so the pairing that produced both of these was GHI Spot Nose Yellow Belly Clown to Blade Clown. And he and some of his siblings have this like uh, kind of fade, kind of white on the sides and then kind of more of a darker color up top. I'm not sure if that's like the blade influence. I'm not sure if it's maybe something else going around. I don't think it's anything super unique, but I have a spot nose clown and a spot nose jelly belly, possible spot nose belly clown that has the same trait. And then I go into my clown pied stuff. Close that. Oops. Sorry, I like him, you know? Nice. That really quick. So, um, oh here, I'll, I'll show this one too really quick. This one, I was really impressed by. So this one. Oh, it's dark. It's dark. So this one is a Super GHI Cinnamon. It's possible Leopard, but I've talked to a few people and they don't think it's Leopard, they just think it's Super GHI Cinnamon. And I have a Super GHI Leopard right there, which is her brother. So you can kind of pull them to, pull them to compare. So I don't know um, if it's this one is Leopard or not, but here, I can pull that one out too. I like the Super GHI stuff. I know it kind of gets, I know it kind of gets a, a bad rap at times, um, or maybe not. I heard that it, they have shedding problems. Is that true? I have not experienced. Okay. That. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just the uh, animals themselves, but I haven't noticed any shedding issues or any skin issues at all with them. Um, just here, I'm like careful, like any normal ball python, they'll be just just fine. For you. So let me open that one. So you guys see. So that's Super GHI Leopard. Oops. You can see that rainbow hue on it. Beautiful. Yeah, the iridescence. I love on the dark stuff the iridescence you can get. It's so amazing. Yeah, so I'm really proud of those. Let me put that back. And then, fix that. Then I'll, I'll, uh, I'll lock this up a little later. <laughs> but, I'll show you my clown pied stuff. So, I have two siblings right here. So I got really lucky. I paired a clown pied that was possible leopard to a Enchi yellow belly clown pet pot. And out of nine eggs, I got five clown pieds. Of those five, four had Enchi, and all five were yellow belly. So I got a super lucky odds. But this one is just neon orange. And a little emoji smiley face on the little saddle. But yeah, I love how it came out. Man, yellow belly and pied with those jagged edges. I know, That's and incredible. so, believe it or not, so I, I have this one and her sister behind the table, but I thought that those were Enchi yellow belly clown pieds, and I thought this was just a really nice Enchi, and so, I guess, plug for Grey Rider Reptiles, I sent the shed in just to confirm. I mean, you can kind of see now, it's very, really yellow belly, but I just didn't know if I was just having with different variations of it or not, and so, sent him in the shed testing, he confirmed his yellow belly, which you can kind of see from the side pattern anyways, but... This is one of the females that I really, really like. I like them a lot. Um, I'm tempted about keeping her, so I've had some people interested in her, but I'm, 
I've kind of been telling them, no, I'm gonna, I kind of want to keep it. And then the male came out really different too. So this is the male. So same jeans. Same jeans, but I'll put it kind of next to each other. You can kind of see the variation between them. This one's a little bit more reduced than the other one, but you can still see the jagged edges of yellow belly throughout. And then you have the uh, NG head stamp. Maybe not as distinct as that one, but you can still kind of see it. It's bringing out that kind of rosy red, or kind of, kind of rosy red, but the uh, orange color. It has a few emojis on it, you know, it's just totally random, but at a show, kids and families like love it when they don't know what they're looking at, or like, you know, they don't know pie, it's gonna be so random. So I like them bring the big attention to the table. Turned out really well. Hey, how can people reach you if they want? want to get a hold of you. Yeah, uh, so I can be reached at cyphonatics uh, at gmail.com um, or I can be reached at Instagram on the same handle. Okay, I'm going to start posting a little bit more in the new year. I've uh, been slacking for a few years, uh, but I'm kind of ready to start co-pouring myself a little bit more in my projects. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm gonna okay, so we're here with Emilio from Villarino Reptiles, the VPI villain. How do you like California? I love it, man. Yeah, here with, with MJ at the trap, man. Uh, you know, just doing my thing here in Pomona, checking it out. Did you bring any snakes? No, I did not. No. Uh, just scouting the show. So far, man, I've been very impressed with uh, how how many people are here. It's incredible. You know, great show. Rami, Rami throws a hell of a show, I'll tell you that. Is there any particular snake from MJ's booth here you want to point out for us? Um, I love this one here, the ODYB NC Gene X Pied. Yeah, the uh, colors on that thing. Is yeah, this thing is incredible. Um, What's your biggest project you're hoping to hit this year? This year, I'm gonna make a lot of foundational double heads for monsoon. You know, maybe some triples, some triple heads, stuff like that. Yeah, you know, and my exantic stuff here and there is coming. You know. Just cool. building towards the future. Yeah. A lot of holdbacks for you? Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. I'll have lots of stuff for sale, too, but, you know, a lot of this stuff's going to be for me first. All right, I'll put your information down below. Thank you so much. All right, for man. Thank you. Video.